Hey guys, you're watching official Zenlab tutorials. This one about lists again. And we continue our previous tutorial. In the previous tutorial, we learned what is a separator on the list and how to use it. And now we'll load data from a file and also we will fill in the list manually. Let's start from loading from a file. To do that, we click twice our list on the bottom dashboard. Then we get it open. To load data from file, we should tick special checkbox here. Let's do that. OK, now we can choose a path to the file. And also it's available now to tick some more settings on these checkboxes. OK, I have a file from the previous tutorial. You can see that it's uh, three URLs separated by comma. I mentioned this separated here. It's comma, you see. I just click this button to choose the path to the file. Okay, it's this file. Okay, and you can see that uh, settings applied now, and we have preview for elements on the list. So we can be sure that it's the right separate and that how you want list look like. Every row here means one element. So first line, first element, second element, third element. Okay, now let's change separator. Do it enter, and you see that now we have only one element, these. And if, for instance, I create the second line like this, after I close it again. I'll get uh, two elements like this because here is a new line enter it's our separator so we have two elements the first one and the second one we can play with separators how you want but usually it's more clear and convenient I usually use new line also we have some more checkboxes it saves changes list to a file if you work with the list by using list processing action or other actions, all changes will be applied. After changes the list, file also be changed. So if during execution of project I remove one of these lines, this also be removed from here. Okay? And there is checkbox to leave empty file. It means that uh, when there are no elements in the list anymore and you set Save changes to file option and this option as well. If there are no more elements, so file is empty, it won't be removed. So we will have this file, it will be just empty. Okay? That's all I wanted to show you about loading from a file, list from a file. Now let's create our own list. It's also very easy. We can do that even with new list. Let's drag it to dashboard, rename, let's call it addresses. For instance, click twice to edit. And if you don't tick this checkbox, you can edit list manually, like 5 Lenina Avenue Apartment 1. OK, then click Enter, set another. can be like this, so we have addresses in our list. We'll be able to get one element and we have whole address here. So we download it from file that's like inbuilt already. It's convenient in case our list is not big, because if you move your project, if you use it then on another PC, it's very convenient that you don't need this file to be sent also. So the list is just in build and all values are in the project, not in the separated file. OK, in the next video tutorial we will use the list processing action from here. We will learn more about list processing, how to add data to the list, how to read data, how to get count of elements, etc. Thank you for watching. Bye.